Before we get started, I just wanted to make a quick disclaimer. Everything I'm about to go over are not to be considered as hard and fast rules. There's only one rule in screenwriting, and that is to make sure that your story is not boring. When it comes to formatting and general guidelines, that's basically all it is. It's just guidelines, best practices, things that people are used to seeing. So with that being said, let's jump into it and discuss some basic formatting on screenwriting. Now that you know how to write a scene heading, let's talk about the description. So once again, screenplays and television scripts are made up of three parts. The scene headings, the descriptions, AKA action lines, and the dialogue. So the narrative description or action lines are always gonna be written in present tense. And that's because when we're looking at a movie, we're looking at it in present tense. We're watching things as they're actually happening. When you write these out, make sure that you double space between the paragraphs and you don't need to indent anything. The idea here is to keep your action lines nice and lean. You wanna probably keep things to about three to four lines. It's not a hard rule, but this is a good way to kind of show brevity. Remember, we're not writing a novel here, and we wanna make sure that the pacing in the story moves the reader along and everything's nice and tight. Big blocks of text are the quickest way to turn a reader off and make sure that someone doesn't actually make it all the way through your script. As a general rule of thumb, you wanna think of each paragraph per beat of action or image as a individual camera shot. Remember, we're not writing a novel, so you need to be very visual whenever you write anything within these action lines. Do not write anything that we cannot physically see. That means if you have a character who has a certain type of thought or is feeling a certain way, you need to figure out a way to write that visually so that we can see what's happening. When a producer or a director is reading your script, they don't know how to film something where John feels sick. That leaves a lot up to interpretation. You need to physically show what John is doing that lets the reader know that he's sick. Is he vomiting? Is he turning green? Or is he uh, sweating very hard? Something that shows a visual state. Also keep in mind when you're writing your action lines or the description, you want to do three things. You want to make sure that you are describing your characters when we first meet them for the first time. You also want to make sure that you somehow describe the location so we have a sense of what this uh, bar or coffee shop is like. Are there anything uh, particular that is standing out that we need to pay attention to that's critical to the story? Um, and you need to also describe everything that's happening within the particular scene as an action, which is why they call it action lines. Now, I know I mentioned brevity earlier in terms of when we write our action lines out, but there's a fine balancing act here because you need to make things nice and evocative. The action lines are gonna be what also really engages the reader. So a lot of scripts suffer from being underwritten and it's hard for the reader to kind of clearly visualize what's going on. You wanna make sure that this is written in an engaging way that it is very clear and it visualizes everything that's happening and the person overall has a clear understanding of what's going on. The way you're gonna really achieve this is by using clever action verbs. You're not gonna use the typical progressive forms of written passive voice. Instead, you're gonna use more of an active voice. So instead of writing a basic action beat like Brian enters the bar, you're gonna spruce it up with a more creative action verb choice. So let's see, something like Brian pimps into the bar with a Kango hat or Brian strides into the bar with confidence. You can see how the last two options show a lot more character than just someone simply entering a bar. Always remember your thesaurus is your best friend. So let's take a look at one of my favorite scripts and movies, by the way, which is Logan. This is a good example of um, some very effective action lines throughout the script, in my opinion. Uh, keep in mind, whenever you're writing your action lines in your screenplay, you're going to be doing a few different things. You're going to be creating an atmosphere at times. You're also going to be directing the camera without giving a whole bunch of different camera angles. Um, and we'll get to that in a second, but you'll also be conveying the character of your uh, characters within the story. You'll be conveying the character through their actions and the things that they do within the action lines. 
you'll also be directing the performances of the actors as well. So you'll be describing the types of things they do, the way they do it. Um, we'll get to that right now. So right here, we have a good example of how this uh, script is very visual. And you'll notice again, they don't write anything in their action lines that can't be filmed. It opens up with uh, a big shot of a uh, billboard here. And then it kind of uh, goes to, again, we talked about this in my previous video as far as how to create a scene heading. We're outside, it's a vacant lot, the time of day is night. And it's kind of setting the atmosphere here by letting you know that the colored light from the billboard flickers over a bullet riddled sign, Route 85, US border, El Paso, Texas. So right off the bat, we know that we're not in the best or safest part of town. Beneath the sign is a long black limousine. To me, this uh, kind of symbolizes or hints at that maybe this is a camera panning down from the sign to this uh, black limousine. So that it, right there is a good example of kind of directing the camera without giving camera angles. So you'll notice that this is in all caps because the writer wants your attention to be drawn to this long black limousine. It's important. We'll see why. Also, remember that each action line represents a camera shot. So this line is a camera shot. This is a separate camera shot. This is a camera shot. This is a camera shot. So we go from this uh, sign, which has bullets riddled over it. We Then we kind of pan down or cut to a long black limousine. Then we go to this next action line that basically describes a van. Again, this is in all caps. They want you to pay attention to this. A van passes by blasting music and basically, uh, you know, it goes off off screen, which we see here. OS means off screen. A squeal of tires off screen. So this is a, another thing. This is representing the sound. So normally, you'll whenever there's sound effects or anything that we want to kind of happen that we want it to be uh, noticeable, um, then we'll put sounds in all caps as well. And OS, by the way, again, it mentioned, means it's, it happened off screen. So basically, we're looking at the highway, whole bunch of cars go by, this van goes by, then we hear the uh, uh, tire squeal, and it kind of pulls back into frame, and we see that five bangers, gang bangers, get out and check the black limo. Then it goes to a, another shot where you can see where they're kind of checking the limo doors, looking at the windows, it's tenant so they can't see inside. Now we uh, go to inside the limo. Again, INT means interior. This is the location, which is the limo. And we have the time of day. Instead of having day or night, they put same. So again, same means that this is actually happening at the same time all of this is happening so this scene that we're about to read is happening simultaneously as all of this is happening so this uh is basically describing logan and it's um got a close-up on his face the reason i say that this is probably a close-up once again kind of directing the camera is that they put a sleeping man's face ratchets into frame so they've hinted at the fact that this is possibly a camera close-up shot where we can see his eyes opening and that they're red. So um, normally when we describe a character for the first time, it goes, uh, you know, there'll be like a very interesting setup that describes and shows how, you know, what the character is like through uh, possibly things that they're wearing or their demeanor or their description, physical description. but. With this movie, everybody knows who Wolverine is, at least the fans do. So they're only going to describe his state in this particular uh, movie, which is he's typically um, in shape, physical, um, and just ready to beat anybody's ass at the drop of a dime. But here he's older and he's clutching the tequila bottle. So they're hinting at the fact that he is out of shape and not in his uh, best of um, abilities. So again, um, I won't go through this whole script, but we can kind of uh, see how some of the things that I've pointed out as far as like things that are written in all caps. Again, this is a sign 
or, or not a sound, but we see a booted leg steps out. Um, again, this is kind of hinting around that this shot is only focuses, focusing on the, uh, the leg that's stepping out of the limo. And um, it, it goes on and on, but um, this is just a good example right off the bat. I've kind of showed you several different things that they've done on page one that kind of direct the camera, conveys character, and also directs the uh, performances of some of the actors. All right, now we know how to create action lines. So if you've watched the previous video, then you also know how to create a scene heading as well. The next thing that we'll be covering is how to write dialogue.